these are the demographics of my channel. Most of my viewers, most of you, are younger than me. I was born in 1989, which is almost precisely the year when the music cassette's downfall began. I only remember using cassettes to record certain songs that played on the radio when I was a kid. Like I was sitting in front of my stereo system with a cassette inside, with my finger on the record button, and when the song started playing I wanted to, I wanted to own, I pressed record. And that's how I used cassettes when I was a kid. So the CD format was definitely the big thing during my teenage years, you know, the time when you start to develop your own musical taste, etc. But if we fast forward to the beginning of the 2000s, the downfall of the CD was already foreseeable. So even though physical media is outdated for almost 20 years, why do I still prefer it? Because you're old, nostalgic, conservative, deluded, and you feel too sophisticated to use streaming like everybody else does. And I thought about that because, you know, my actual job is I'm a software developer and I make these YouTube videos using all that modern editing technology and without the navigation system on my phone I would not be able to find the neighboring village here. So I should be used to modern technology, but when it comes to listening to music, I'm, a, I'm an old man, I'm a grandpa, a freaking boomer. And I have a few theories why that's the case. First of all, to me, Modern technology makes it a little too easy to listen to music. The simplicity is annoying. It makes the whole thing feel incidental or even worthless. I think I have an inherent connection between work or effort and enjoyment. Like, in other words, I enjoy things more when I actually did something to achieve the pleasure. Like the hours and hours of driving before finally getting to the festival. Or saving money to eventually be able to buy that damn copy of the original Star Wars movies on eBay. What? And I think the same counts for listening to music. I mean, of course it's not a huge effort to search through your CD, tape or record collection to find something you want to listen to, put it on and press play. And maybe even, you know, switch the tape or the record. But, you know... That's effort that matters. To me, this gives the act of listening to music a little more value. You know how people talk about that extra 1 or 2% that makes the difference between something normal and something outstanding? I think that little bonus effort before listening to music is that 1 and 2% that makes listening to music more special when you use devices that were made for listening to music on. Speaking of devices, that thing is supposed to fulfill a lot of different tasks. Everything is on there. Your photos, your videos, your music, emails, chats, your bank account, shopping lists, games, yada yada yada. You're using the same device for listening to music and watching the latest meme compilation. So in your head, or at least in my head, everything becomes mushy and somehow equal. Uh, should I listen to music or watch PewDiePie while playing Candy Crush? Mm. These devices, on the other hand, can only do one thing. Play music. Or any kind of recorded sound. Meaning, when you decide to make use of one of these things, listening to music automatically becomes a little more special. Try it out yourself, and if it doesn't do anything with you, then I'm probably way too sensitive regarding that topic, and you can call me a pussy. And what I like about physical media is, surprise, you can touch it, you know? This is your stuff. It creates an almost emotional connection between you and your music. You own that. This, for example, was the very first black metal CD I ever got, Fubiscum Satanas, by um, Dark Funeral. And, you know, we've been through a lot. It's, it's almost like, almost 20 years. And uh, it, it created a certain, some kind of a patina of time. I own that thing, you know? If it was on Spotify, there would be no connection between me and this album. I freaking love that album. It's still my favorite album by Dark Funeral. This is your music, you know? If you listen to music on Spotify, you don't own anything. I don't know about you, but I think that's a very calming thought that uh, I still would be able to listen to my favorite bands even if the internet disappeared. I know it's a very hypothetical thought, but uh, it's nice. Not to mention all the bands that don't even exist on Spotify. Okay, to be fair, most of them are underground bands. But um, maybe you are missing out a gem you would love just because you only listen to Spotify and don't check label websites or whatever. Last but not least, I freaking love the album as a format, you know, because to me an album is not just a collection of songs, it is also like a snapshot taken in time. 
uh, about what was going on in the artist's mind during that period while recording the album, etc. That's the reason why uh, albums, even by the same artist, sound differently. I, I mean, unless you're Cannibal Corpse. Chill, I don't hate Cannibal Corpse. You don't get that experience when you listen to single songs on Spotify. You know, for example, this album. Maras by Korgon Furus, one of my favorite Korgon Furus albums. Um, it has only two songs, so if you listen to one song on Spotify, you're missing 50% of the album. You're missing the album. I mean, it's a ridiculous example, I know, but you get the point. And good albums are also written like a journey. It's not like, you know, we record some songs and throw them on a, on a record or whatever. Um, you know, the order of the songs has a meaning, for example because it goes up and down, etc. It's not just a collection of songs, as I said. I mean, even for my shitty-ass grindcore band, we are, you know, thinking about in which order the songs should be, the 27 songs we record. What I'm saying is there's work put into a good album. I mean, there are a lot of shitty albums, and I don't judge anybody who just listens to single songs. I'm, I'm just, you know, in case you didn't notice, I'm trying to explain why I love the album and physical media. I mean, I get the point, why listen to a full album if I only enjoy three songs by that artist? But um, maybe there are more songs you would enjoy if you actually, you know, took the time to uh, get a little closer to the album. Um, but that also means that you have to spend 30, 40, 50 minutes with that artist alone. You know, that's time you could spend on um, searching or discovering other artists using Spotify or whatever. I get that point, but, um, you know, fuck FOMO. You're not missing out anything. And I think listening to a full album by an artist gets you a little closer to the artist, if you want that. But I think that's what everybody wants, you know? Get, getting a little closer to people. Sorry. Damn, I hate this old technology. Especially with a record player or a Walkman, it's very unlikely to just stop the song in the middle or rewind it or even skip to the next one. Because you are already going with the flow. Why interrupt now? You started the engine. I mean, there is literally a little machine doing work for you right in that moment. Mechanical work, not just zeros and ones like on your phone or whatever streaming device you use. To be clear, I'm not saying that Spotify or streaming in general is like crap and uh, listening to physical media is superior any time. Because from what I've heard, I don't use Spotify for music, but from what I've heard is um, that Spotify is very good at recommending you new stuff you probably enjoy. That's kind of cool, I guess. But um, I think the... The final goal should always be, you know, the physical media. Because of, because of all the reasons I talked about these past five minutes. Uh, to me, you know, listening to music on Spotify and listening to music on a CD or tape or vinyl or whatever is uh, like the difference between touching a stuffed animal and a real animal. Hello there. But I'm only talking about myself, of course. If Spotify works for you... Nice! Hey, I, you know, I, I'm jealous even, because as you can tell, I'm probably disabled. And I've heard of cases where people discovered my black metal band, Durba Tuluk, on Spotify, without knowing that I also make YouTube videos sometimes. That's cool, I appreciate that, of course. But this is not my preferred way to discover new music, you know, I, I, don't, want, I don't want anybody to tell me what to listen to, especially not a software. But as I said, if it works for you, perfect, awesome, okay? Cool. So please let me know what you think about it. Am I a freaking boomer? Am I a grandpa? Or is there something to it, to, to what I said? I don't know. I mean, I don't care. I'm pretty happy with how it is, but uh, yeah, please let me know. And if you enjoy videos of me talking about random stuff, you maybe appreciate this one as well. Or whatever that is. See you next time.